Hi everybody, um, can I do the food here? Right, so today I'm going to show you a thing called garlic cream. So with the kind of series of pasta dishes that I've been doing, we're going to move on to pastas to do with a cream sauce, okay? So I'm just going to put the stove on. So the stove's on, heating up. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put, place in a little bit of butter. So we're going to we're going to put this one a quite a low heat this one today, okay? And I'll put this in a wee minute. But first of all, I just want to show you this butter. Um, I kind of really like this. It's a butter that is plant based and also it has palm oil in it, but it's friendly to the orangutans. I really like those wee orangutans, so I'm keeping them safe and alive. So, got a little butter gently melting. I'm also going to get in some garlic that you've seen on the photograph of the tray. I've already just kind of grated this in a small grater. Place that into the pot. So this is kind of something that a lot of restaurants will make in a large quantity, just like the tomato sauce. So if you go out to a restaurant that does a lot of pasta, a town restaurant, they will make kind of four or five cartons of this at one time. So the reason being is that, yeah, you, you can just use, um, you can just use cream in a pasta dish in the house and so on. But if you can make this little, little concoction, and then you're going to make say a carbonara pasta or any other pasta with a, a cream base, the, the flavour's quite intense and it's really really nice, and it kind of what makes it this just kind of lifts it to another level but again we're showing you this because it's very easy easy to do easy to make as you can see so it's just like melting a little bit of butter putting some uh, chopped up or grated garlic in it now i'm going to use two creams okay i'm going to use a single cream and a whipping cream the reason being is that you don't want this mixture too thick like say using double creams so these is it. So even there, the single cream, the lights of the wall, you can still see there is still quite a bit of texture in that. And then add in the whipping cream. And again, reason being is you don't want it just a nice balance of not too thick, not too um, runny. So the secret with this, with this kind of mixture is that you don't need to boil it for a long long time okay it can sit on a nice sort of gentle heat because if you go away from it um, in the restaurants when we used to make this and then again to a big pot on and we'd go away and start doing a different prep job but it's one of these things in the blink of an eye it can just boil over and make a mess um, all over your stove okay so that's that just kind of simmering way kind of Quite nice and gently, okay. Other wee thing I'm going to add in is some little bit of chopped basil. So chopped basil going in. So again, you saw that on the tray. The reason we're adding in some chopped basil is again it just kind of while well, this is cooking out and simmering for a little while, it will infuse the cream, and again the flavour of it will be um, quite high. It will be a very kind of strong flavour. So this amount here would do maybe pasta for four to six people then depending on the amount that you're doing but you think okay that's kind of quite watery at the minute that is all right because what will happen is as it, as you were using it say at the time when you add in the cream part to make up the pasta sauce and you're cooking it away on a higher heat than that time with the ingredients in it it will reduce quite a lot so it will thicken up in the dish as it's cooking and then even if it didn't you know you can do a wee method like with a carbonara pasta where you add in an, an egg yolk so we're just going to let that simmer for five ten minutes and then that will be us okay okay guys so you can see in the pot here it's kind of been simmering away so we're really just going to turn the heat right down now so i'm about to turn this off okay so that's all you want. You can see there's the steam, the heat in the pot. That's me turning this off now. So this has just been gently simmering for five minutes. Ten absolutely most. 
just keeping an eye on it. You don't need to cook this out any longer now. Uh, since you've been away, I've put a little bit of salt and pepper in it just to kind of season it up. And that is it. So this is garlic cream. That is the base for just about every uh, Italian pasta dish. Or you can even use it for garlic mushrooms, a whole load of things that I will show you soon later on in the next couple of videos we will do a cream pasta to give you one to get started off with so hope you like that and again with the butter in it um, this kind of helps to stop the cream burning because uh, it's a bit, a bit more of an oil based butter rather than just straight on butter and adds a wee bit of kind of silkiness to the dish so when you go have a wee go at doing some garlic cream if you like the video please place press like and subscribe to the channel because there's going to be lots of stuff coming up. Thanks very much. Bye.